I would like to share with you the following incident that I heard in the name of Rabbi Friend. A group of boys from the yeshiva were on their way to their friend's chuppah when they encountered a traffic jam. Dilemma. They had not davened mincha as of yet, and they had to make a choice. They could daven be yechidus, they can daven by themselves, or they can spend time looking for a shul and daven with a minion. But if they did that, there's a good chance they would miss their friend's chuppah. One of the boys called up his Rosh Yeshiva and said, Rebbe, and told him what was going on. And the Rebbe said, you daven by yourself and make sure you make the chuppah on time. Could you imagine if you would be late and you would miss the chuppah because you daven with a minion when your friend would be looking into the audience and he wouldn't see his friends? How do you think he would feel? Therefore, you daven by yourself. The Yeshiva Bacher said, but Rebbe, you don't understand. For the last five years, I have never missed davening with a minion. Am I going to start now? And the Rebbe said, my dear Talmud, winning streaks have nothing to do with Yiddishkeit, with Judaism. They have to do with sports, football, basketball, baseball. But in Yiddishkeit, we do what we're supposed to. And if there's a change, we stop on a dime and we pursue that path. Ay, Hashem is gozer. Hashem said that our shuls have to be closed. Our yeshivas, our schools have to be closed. But if that's what Hashem says, then we do it and we follow it. We stop on a dime and we do what Das Torah tells us to do. My dear friends, on behalf of my dear Rebetzin, I would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy, healthy, and special Shabbos.